Hey crafters, Shirley Pando here for Everyday Moodling's blog and project inspiration. This week it's all about stencils. You may think there's only one way to use a stencil, but you might be wrong. Normally you'll put the paper underneath a stencil, but today I'm going to put it on top. And I'm using some crayons. Yes, you can use regular ordinary crayons. Today I've got some Crayola Metallic FX and they have give a great metallic look on dark paper but I'm just going to show you on light paper. Remember those rubbings you used to do as a kid? These look awesome. This is something super easy anybody can do. For the project today I'm starting with a paper that I have already added some paint and stenciling marks on and I'm taking that same curvy stencil with the metallic crayons and I'm just adding some rubbings right over top. It gives a lot of great layers. I'm using a color very similar to the color of the paint that's on there. I'm the paint is Distress Paint in Broken China and then I've got two different colors of blue of the crayons and it just really adds lots and lots of great color and depth with texture. Next I'm going to add some stamping with VersaFine ink and I've got a background stamp by Inka Dinka Doo and this is by Don Hauser and I am just going to add some text. It's an unreadable background stamp, unreadable text and I'm just going to stamp once and then get some second generation and third generation stamping on that and just adding a little bit of texture. I'm going to add one more thing. I've got Distress Paint and Brush Pewter and a small piece of paper. It's like a Punchinella, but I found it out of the garbage. It still makes a great stencil. So with my stencil background, I'm going to make a card. So I have taken that cheapo piece of art paper that I was using and made it sturdy and made it look really good by adding two layers of cardstock. I've got an aqua one that'll match my stencil and then I've got an orange one that is the complementary color of blue. And I'm going to add it to my folded card base. So along with that I have several things that I've chosen. Um, I've got a paper pack from Teresa Collins that I've loved and have not finished up so I've decided I'm going to use it. So I have a punch circle. I want to keep the orange behind there. I'm going to add my pieces and then I have some strips. Got some paper strips. And when I finish adhering, that's going to be an awesome card. 